afternoon, everybody. It's me, Miss Mary, here out on the playground. Wanted to send y'all a quick video today. Let me see, it is the end of the week. It is the last day for the school week, even though we haven't been in school. So let's think about it. What is today? We've already done Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's Friday! TGIF, guys. Happy Friday to you. Thought I'd come outside for a little while because it's so pretty, but oh, there's the fort. What's it missing? It's missing you guys. Man, Miss Mary's been having to play on that fort all by herself. And she doesn't always fit down that slide so well. She kind of looks silly. Have y'all been outside playing much? I've been trying to. Trying to stay out of the fresh air and have a good time. Come over here for a minute. I was doing some sidewalk chalk. Have y'all done some sidewalk chalk at your house? Who's done sidewalk chalk at their house? Raise your hand. Ooh, man, a lot of y'all. I've got my sidewalk chalk here. Y'all wanna do some sidewalk chalk with me? Let's change it up a little bit today. Oh, here's Miss Mary at her house. Walking around. I'm so glad to see y'all today. I've missed y'all. Hope y'all got to see the video yesterday. Ooh, there's the flag. Ooh, pretty sky, isn't it? So what have y'all been doing today? I need some pictures. I haven't heard from you guys. Oh, my neighbor's mowing. I hope y'all don't get bothered by hearing that lawnmower. It's a long walk out here to Miss Mary's. I thought we'd come out here and do some sidewalk chalk today. All right, here we are. What color should I use? Shout out your favorite color. I think, oh, I heard purple from somebody. I'm gonna use purple today. All right. First off, let's do the letter of the th week. What's our letter of this week? Makes the z sound. What letter? That's right. Z, 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 z. What kind of things make the z sound? Zipper, right? Oh, let's draw a zipper on here. Oh, oh, oh. That is not the best zipper. Miss Mary is not a good zipper drawer. It's my best zipper, guys. Eesh, I am not the artist, am I? All right, what else makes a z, z sound? Zero. Oh, I think Miss Mary can handle zero. What color should we use now? Shout out a color. Blue. I heard you say blue. There's blue. All right. Zero makes the z sounds. There's my zero. Good job. What else makes the z sound? Zebra. Y'all are funny. Y'all are hoping Miss Mary is going to draw a zebra. Here she goes. There's her zebra with his legs and his mouth and his tail and his other legs and we have to have zebra stripes. Oh, that's a pretty sad zebra. <laughs> ah, do my best. Oh, I hope y'all been doing some sidewalk too. I mean, too, this has been really fun. Me and Molly like to come out here. She drew the solar system the other day. Oh, it was so pretty. She drew the beach. I drew mountains. Y'all wanna do a couple of words? Let's do a couple of words. All right, pick a color. Y'all tell me. Green? All right, I'll do green. Let's do a couple words today. All right, so I'll write one letter. What letter is that? H, 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 H. <gasps> Good. What letter is that? A, 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 A. So, huh, A, ha, ha. And then let's add the last letter. T, 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 T. So, let's sound it out. Huh, ah, t, hat. Good job, guys. I'll draw my best little hat on my smiley face there. Oh, Miss Mary. Silly. Let's do one more word. Mm, let's do the letter P. What sound does P make? 
P, P, P. Good. Sorry guys, my neighbor decided to mow right in the middle of our video. What's our next letter? O, O, O. Ah, ah, ah. Good. Let's use T again. T, T, T. T, T, T. So, P, A, Pa, T, Pot. Pot. Good job, guys. Draw a little pot here. Here's my pot. And do one more? Let's do one more. I like the T's today. T, 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 T. Good. What letter? U, U, U. Uh, uh, uh. Good job. So T, uh, T, and then B, 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 B. Belly. Remember, B's have B, have a belly on it, D's have a diaper. This one has a belly on it because they're all facing that way. So, tub, tub. Good job. So here's my my tub. Looks like more like a bowl of soup. Hey, I do what I can. Well, that was fun. Y'all need to get out your chalk, and y'all can go out on your sidewalks, and y'all can make words too. And I, y'all can also get out there and practice your name seen some of y'all sending in pictures showing me that you've been practicing your name. Y'all are doing a really good job with that. You know, be practicing your last names too. So if you've got your first name down really well, start practicing your last names. That's good. Y'all know Miss Mary actually has a last name. Who knows Miss Mary's last name? Wait a minute. You thought my first name was Miss? No. Miss Mary. Alright guys, let's keep walking. We're gonna go back inside now and let's go ahead and change our calendar for today. Just wanted to walk outside a little bit with you guys and change it up a little bit. It's been nice getting outside. Oh, I hear the birds are chirping. And you know guys, that bush out the back that always has our bird nest in it with our little mockingbird? It's out there. I keep seeing that mockingbird out there. Let's go inside the school. Good afternoon. Oh, now we're coming into the school. All right, now we're inside. Y'all wanna go ahead and do our calendar? Let's go ahead and do our calendar. All right, who remembers from yesterday what month we're in? Let me hear you. April, you're right. We are in April. And yesterday we were on day, let's see, we went one, two. We were on day two, so that means we're on what? Three, good job guys, day three. One, two, three. And we are doing our pattern, so we went flower, buzzy bee, buzzy bee. Good job, let's go ahead and go over here and let's sing our April song. Y'all did a really good job of it yesterday. Got our little posters here to help us out. Here is our April song. There's our picture with our April showers. Bring what? May flowers. Good job. Let's go ahead and sing our song. April can be cold and gray. Good job. Sometimes it rains all day long when I cannot go out and play. I smile and sing this song. In April, the ground gets wet. From all the gentle showers, then the sleeping seeds wake up and grow into flowers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good job, guys. There's our April song for today. All right. Let's go over and let's change our other dates. All right. So right up here. Trying to make that straight for you. We have April, and then there's number two. We need number... Three. Miss Mary never thinks to get these out when she has both her hands. But you know what? I found it. Number three. Three, three, three. Right there. All right. So it is April 3rd, 2020, and we, I cannot 
figure out for the life of me how to get that straight for you guys. There we go, much better. All right, so now we're on to Friday. Today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long, all day long. Yesterday was Thursday, tomorrow will be Saturday. Let's have fun, let's have fun. All right, and our letter for the week, Z, 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 Z for zebra and zipper, like we, Miss Mary did a horrible job of drawing out there, but hey, I did my best. There we go, we got zebra and zipper. All right, let's do our color of the week. I remember today it's yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Like the early morning sun when the day has just begun. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Lemonade and scrambled eggs are her yellow. Daffodils and baby ducks are her yellow. I like the smiley face, it's yellow. He is such a happy fellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Good job, guys. And our shape for the week, crescent. Good job. All right. And our number for the week is number 10. Let's count up to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Good job. Let's go backwards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then what's left? Zero. Good job. All right. Let's come over here. Back to my little spot. And I thought today we would do one of y'all's favorite stories. I know y'all are going to be excited. Here we go. Pete the cat, guys. Oh, I know y'all are excited. Pete the cat. I love my white shoes. By Eric Litwin. Oh, there's all the shoes. Oh, I'm so excited. We love this story. Look at all those shoes. What color are those? Yellow. Good job. What color are those? Red. Good. What color are those? Blue. Good. And what color are those? Green. What color is your favorite color? What shoes would you pick? Hmm. I think if I had to go with a color, I'd go with the green ones today. Those look pretty. Since it's springtime and everything's green outside, I really like that green. And who's that? Beat the cat. Oh, Miss Mary's got her mess all around here. All right, so let's start our story. Pete the cat. I love my wide shoes. Pete the cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much, he sang this song. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. <gasps> oh no. Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Red! Did Pete cry? Goodness no. He kept walking along singing his song. Everything's cool. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. <gasps> oh no. Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. What did it turn his shoes? What color did it turn them? Blue. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no, he kept walking along, singing his song. I love my blue shoes, I love my blue shoes, I love my blue shoes. <gasps> oh, no, Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. What color did it turn his shoes? Brown, did Pete cry? Goodness, no, he kept walking along, singing his song. 
I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. Oh no! Pete stepped in a bucket of water. Ah! Pete fell off. He stepped in a bucket of water and all the brown and all the blue and all the red were washed away. What color were his shoes again? White! But now they were wet. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along, singing his song. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. Moral of the story is, no matter what you step in, keep walking along, singing your song. Because... It's all good. We love that story, don't we? Oh, I love it. Y'all can find that on YouTube. If you tell your moms or dads to look up Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes, you can watch the little cartoon. And he sings the song. And he probably sings it way better than Miss Mary. But hey, you know, gotta work with what we got. Y'all wanna do the other Pete the Cat book that I got? Yeah, oh, yes, yeah. Oh, man, y'all are shut. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Let's do it. All right. So I've got Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. All right, let me set it up for you guys. Hopefully this time it won't fall off my stand. All right. Y'all ready? Okay, here we go. <gasps> Pete the cat put on his favorite shirt with four big, colorful buttons. One, two, three, four. Big, colorful, round, groovy buttons. He loved his buttons so much, he sang this song. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. Pop! Oh, no. One of the buttons popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Let's count them. One, two, three. Three, four. Take away one is three. One, two, three. Good job, guys. How do we draw a three? There, good. Out and back, out and back. Good job. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. But he kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. Pop! Oh, no. Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? One, two. Two. Three minus one is two. One, two. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. Pop! Oh, no. Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? One. Two take away one is one. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My button, my button, my one groovy button. My button, my button, my one groovy button. Pop. Oh, no. The last button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? None of them. So how many is that? Zero. Zero. One take away one is zero. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go.
Pete looked down at his buttonless shirt, and what do you think he saw? His belly button. And he kept on singing his song. My button, my button, still have my belly button. My button, my button, still have my belly button. I guess it simply goes to show that stuff will come and stuff will go. But do we cry? Goodness, no. We keep on singing. Buttons come and buttons go. The end. I love that story, don't you? Oh, they're so good. Y'all can look that one up on your mom's phone too. Pete the cat and his group four groovy buttons. And y'all can watch the little cartoon. <laughs> Miss Mary doesn't come up with these songs all on her own, guys. I mean, that would be silliness. All right. All right. Well, that's pretty much it for this week, guys. We're done with the week. I'm trying to put packets together, so if you haven't heard from me, I'm going to get with you and maybe bring some papers by and drop them off at your house, and you can be doing some work at your house, maybe practicing some coloring and some writing and adding and subtracting. That would be great because we need to keep working our brains while we're at home, even though we're not together, okay? All right, well, I'll be checking, checking in with you again next week. I'm so glad I got to see you today. Looks like pretty good weather outside, so get outside and go enjoy the fresh air and go play. And I'll be seeing you later. Send me a picture or a word. Bye.